everyone, welcome back to Alkaline Hydroxide 784. Today I'll be showing you some very old footage from when mask wearing was still a thing. Yeah, this is from December 2021. Today we have a special someone. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, introduce yourself. I am Ramapriya. Hello everyone, I am her mother. Hi, we both are having a date, hiking date. <laughs> we have come to climb the Bukit Timah Hill. Yeah, you can check out her channel at the um, Vidi Ula. Yes, my channel's name is Vidi Ula. V E E D H I U L A A. Thank you. Okay, let's start. Yeah, so before you even start, there is a stone that introduces you to where you are, if you didn't know that already. And of course, a visitor center, which was instated in June 1992, which makes it older than my brother. So after a few steps into the exit visitor center, you get to see a model of the Bukit Timah Hill area and some supposedly nice views. And of course, the main part is the exhibition hall. So inside the exhibition hall, you can see a few things like the history of the Bukit Timah region, the animals that used to live in the area or maybe are still living there as well as the plants which I think are the most prominent thing you'll be seeing today. <laughs> of course I know not everyone's interested in information so let's get started shall we. So right next to the visitor center is a pathway straight to the entrance like the starting point of the part and off we go. So there's actually multiple parts around the mountain but we are using the main one today. And as a side note, I think those who are very familiar with climbing things would probably find this not very hard to climb. But, you know, it's about uh, slightly over a kilometer to go up the road to the summit. But after a slightly steep ascent, you reach the first hut, which you'll see in a few seconds. So we are here at the chewing hut. How do you feel? I'm gasping for it. <laughs> breath. But I'll be okay soon. And yeah, there was a small little rest break there. But um, technically, I, we didn't need to wear a mask in Bukit Timah Hill. Even at that point of time, in parks, you, couldn't, you didn't really need to wear a mask. But... Okay, and there are maps along the way where you can see where you are at, if you didn't know that already. And so we continue. Yeah, after a bit of chaotic time-lapsing, looking at branching parts and seeing the little part markers and also waiting for my mom to catch up with me. <laughs> we reached the second hut. So like this is the hut that's before the main event and as we soon set off for it, you'll see what I mean. Where are the going? summit of course. <laughs> as we inch closer to the wonderful set of stairs. Okay, let's keep in mind there's actually another route up there, which is that route on the left. But the stairs are the way to go, right? To the summit we go. Time for some chaotic footage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, if for any normal person who isn't very fit, you will definitely get tired after climbing up these stairs. Even if nothing else on that entire thing makes you tired. This is the one thing you'll get tired on. Finally, after a bit of dooziness, we reach the summit. You know, the only thing left to do is to literally sit down and 
enjoy the view, I guess. And of course, at the summit, there were quite a few people there waiting to see the birds in the trees, which I couldn't really go see from wherever I was standing. But okay, sounds cool. Now at the summit. Yeah. Hmm, look to the skies and around me. What's up with that? Well, if I look up to the sky, I just see a TV tower. If I look around me, I just see lots of trees. And of course, the height of the hill, which is 163.63 meters. And of course, the no monkey feeding signs. <laughs> so, what, what do I do with all of this information? Who cares about that? It's time to go back down. And off we go. This time we took the longer route because why not? And after a while we saw another pathway that went off to the dairy farm trail. And I have seen that trail before but apparently it was closed so we couldn't go and see more and see if there's any useful information. This is actually closed. You can only go a little bit inside and that's it. And on the way down, we looked at some of the trees and their information posts. <laughs> Tall tropical fruit. Now for some more time lapsing and random funny logs. Oh, the steep slope is scarier than going down. What happens if you go backwards here? Oh no! You behave a bit as though I'm falling. There are some people who go up and down a bunch of times. Yeah, I think that's why some people are walking backwards. It's like pushing my foot into my shoe. They say do not run. Wait, bend backwards. Hmm? Bend backwards. And then you bend your knee and then lean backwards. And towards the end, decided to try some walking <laughs> backwards. This is how it feels to walk backwards. Just to make it less hard to go fast. But yeah, it's, it's hard not to go fast when you're going downwards. Okay, I do not want to be back. <laughs> After that short and chaotic descent, we finally 
reached the end of our Bukit Timah hill trip and you know hopefully nothing weird occurred to you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and with that I would like to say thank you and bye!